what's up guys benny here and welcome to 11 secrets to get better aim instantly in call of duty warzone pacific that every pro does and if you're new around here make sure to hit that subscribe button as 70 percent of you watching are not subscribed to the channel and you'll get better at warzone i promise but first let's check out the sponsors of today's video the novo legion The first secret to getting better aim lies within your settings. One of the most important being your sensitivity. There has always been this misconception that higher sensitivities are better and that is just not true. Almost every pro player on a controller uses between a five to seven sensitivity for both vertical and horizontal. And then also has a low zoom modifier of 0.85. So they can make those more slight adjustments to land neck and headshots more consistently. As a rule of thumb, a lower sensitivity gives you greater control, and then a higher sensitivity allows you to be more reactive. But when you go too fast, it's impossible to have complete control because you just do not have that level of motion with a thumbstick, which is why aim assist is also crucial for controller players. So I'd suggest start with a four sensitivity and then slowly build your way up to a six six, which is what I personally use. I find it's always better to start low and then slowly increase your sensitivity one at a time over a couple of weeks. Then the next secret to get better aim is simple, but make sure you set your aim response curve to dynamic. This means that it will accelerate your aim if you hold the thumbstick all the way to the outer edge, then your crosshairs will accelerate, whilst being more controlled in the middle part of your thumbstick, allowing you to be more accurate, but also being able to turn on players that are on the edge of your screen. Now, before we get on to all the in-game secrets you'll need to do to get pro player aim, the biggest secret is learning how to master aim assist. You'll hear a lot of mouse and keyboard players complain at how overpowered aim assist can be, but only if you make full use of it. In the settings, you do not want to change the aim assist setting. Default is best, and you want scale aim assist with FOV to also be off as this gives you the largest aim assist area that you can snap onto, making aiming a lot easier. Once you learn to master aim assist, weirdly, Warzone does a lot of the hard stuff for you, which we'll get onto later in the video. Now, in Warzone, you've got two types of aim assist. You've got the regular aim assist that we just talked about, but one of the biggest secrets to getting pro level aim is using rotational aim assist. Regular works with your right thumbstick and almost makes your aim sort of stick to the center mass of your opponents with you needing to then make the adjustments with your right thumbstick to control recoil and then make the aim adjustments to hit those head and upper chest shots. Now, rotational aim assist helps you in the same plane as your movement. It effectively keeps your target in a straight line to your position, so it's a lot easier to hit your shots. How it works is moving left or right with your left thumbstick, and it will basically track your opponent in front of you and keep them in your crosshairs. It's why pro players are never static and almost always look like they're snapping onto their target with ease or aim lock, as uh, some people like to call it. So get used to practicing using both the left and right thumbstick at the same time. You should never be static, and this helps guarantee your aim will be a lot better as you're abusing two of the strongest game mechanics for a controller player. I'll show you how to do that even more in a drill later in the video. The next secret to getting better aim in Call of Duty Warzone is something called centering. This is all about making sure that your crosshairs are always perfectly positioned to where enemies could potentially come from. Effectively, whilst playing Warzone, you're always aiming at something. So to get the best centering possible, whenever you're moving around the map, get into the habit of positioning your crosshairs over every doorway, every window, every ridge line that comes into view. This then also sets you up to be best prepared to take advantage of the game's aim assist, because it means when someone does come into view, you can just press left and right trigger whilst using your left thumbstick to keep that rotational aim assist going, and you'll find yourself picking up so many easy kills. My next secret to getting better aim in Call of Duty Warzone is this easy technique to counter recoil 
recoil and it's incredibly simple now when i'm firing an automatic weapon i hold my thumbstick down very very slightly just so there's some resistance on the thumbstick which helps eliminate a gun's vertical recoil whilst firing to find the perfect sweet spot of where you should be pulling back the thumbstick to while firing you can go fire against the wall and empty your mag and see where it becomes a laser and that's where you should be pulling the stick to in every gunfight this trick combined with regular and horizontal aim assist makes being accurate really easy and after a short period of time it'll just become muscle memory for you the next secret to getting better aim is making sure that you're using the right guns and class setups it's not a coincidence that the majority of pro players use guns like the Bren and the Cooper Carbine, and it's because there's very little recoil, which allows them to abuse the core game mechanics to get faster overall time to kills and land the majority of their shots with ease, which against other top players is crucial as there's almost no margin for error. Another important thing to understand is stats like your bullet velocity. So you know if you need to lead your shots or if it's got a high enough bullet velocity in order to be hit scanned. So you can just snap straight onto your opponent. Learning and mastering these details do take time, but you also need to make sure you're actively aware about them to get better aim. So make sure you spend that time to get your class setups perfect. I tried to do my best to keep the best loadouts and class setups on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. The next secret to get better aim in Warzone Pacific is a new feature that got added with the release of Vanguard weapons, and that's initial recoil control. This actually leads you to having much better aim if you tap or burst fire with some of the higher recoil weapons, as it allows your shots to get dead center with ease. This is especially apparent on assault rifles like the BAR or the NZ, where if you don't burst fire, you start getting a lot more horizontal wobble, which makes it hard to hit your shots. So make sure you fire and quick burst with Vanguard weapons especially to be as accurate as possible at a distance, and you'll be surprised at how big of a difference it actually makes. Another secret to getting better aim in Warzone is to make sure you mount when you get the opportunity to do so, as it transforms pretty much any weapon into a straight up laser beam. This is something I try to do, especially when opening up a gunfight, as you get it down before someone even has a chance to react. Also with Pacific, you can now strafe mount, which helps on certain walls around the map. Not something you're going to use all the time, but very important to be aware of, as it can help you get some easy kills. This next secret to getting better aim in Warzone is the snap-on. This is where you center your crosshairs on an opponent until you get that aim assist stick and then just hit the left trigger. This will snap onto your opponent. Then if there's multiple people in a gunfight, you never want to just stay in ADS. You'll almost want to scope out then quickly ADS again as soon as you feel that aim assist stick and you'll snap right on. And if you're wondering what that aim assist stick is, when you're playing, you'll know. Trust me. The biggest trick is just getting into the habit of abusing the aim assist mechanics and then not doing drastic movements with your thumbstick as soon as you're ADS, you'll never really go to the outside edge of your thumbstick. Just keep that in mind and try snap onto your targets as much as possible to get the best aim possible. So my next tip to improve your aim in Call of Duty Warzone is to use my firing drill warm up. Now I've been doing this for years and it really does help. Now you can do this on any Call of Duty multiplayer, whether that's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War or Call of Duty Vanguard. But the first thing you're wanting, going to want to do is go into a private match and then go into your game setup. Now the map, you can choose whatever you want to do, whether you want to use Numa Numa, you can use Dome, you can use Shipment. Personally, I find Dome is a really good choice because you get loads of different kind of like gunfight engagements from like mid to long range to close range. Um, but personally, just choose whatever works for you. The next thing, go to make it a free for all. So you've got just like as many targets as possible. Game rules, you're going to want to make it so your time limit is unlimited. Score limit is also unlimited. And then your player, you turn the max health to 250. This means that it's the exact same as someone that is fully plated in Call of Duty Warzone. This is going to help you with the time to kill and just getting you into the habit of the length that a gunfight is going to be. So 250 health is what you want. Team, you go to enable minimap, yes, and you want to turn radar always on to constant. Because remember, this is all about just improving your aim, warming up properly, and making sure that you're in the best situation that you can be for when you're playing in Warzone so you can win those Battle Royale matches. You don't need to change anything else in gameplay. You could potentially make spawn ammo mags to kind of like max so you don't run out of ammo. Kill streaks you don't need to touch. Uh, and then you just want to make sure that you've got your gun set up and you want to boot up a match.
So once you're in the game, this is crucial. It's all about just kind of getting used to snapping onto your opponents, using everything that we've learned in this video, snapping on, kind of slide canceling into fights, snapping onto your opponents and picking up those kills. Like I will honestly do this for hours. Like before I used to play any tournament, I'd do this, kind of get used to using all the different weapons that are available. So I kind of got the feel. Um, but now that there's Call of Duty Warzone, it's so, so different. But the technique that you learn from doing this will help help you so so much every time that you all the time that you spend practicing into gunfights will help you like simple things like slide cancelling into that gunfight making sure you're abusing that aim assist and all the other tips that we've done uh in this video changing different sensitivities all those little things will help you in this gunfight also like you'll notice like i slide in snap on and then like kind of all those little adjustments to get those upper body and chest shots are going to help you every single pro player does this before any tournament any competition that they're involved in and it's crazy not that many people do this but i want you to try contribute some time in your day to do these sort of warm-ups take all the tips that you've learned in this video and apply them and i promise you you'll do better at warzone you'll become a better player and you'll win more games let me know what you think down in the comments below subscribe if you're new thanks for watching i'll see you next time